Meet Cecilia. Like most college students, she is sleep deprived and has a hard time staying awake. That's because she's carrying a lot of sleep debt. It's how our bodies keep track of how much sleep we miss out on and can accumulate for weeks. Her sleep waste schedule for the past few days has been inconsistent and she often struggles to get out of bed in the morning. She would probably score very high on the Epworth sleepiness scale, which means she has excessive daytime sleepiness. She drinks several cups of coffee throughout the day to keep her awake. Caffeine blocks the receptors of adenosine, an inhibitory neurotransmitter that causes drowsiness. It also decreases deep sleep, the most rejuvenating sleep. On top of her sleep debt, Cecilia also has poor sleep hygiene. She tends to do all her activities on the bed, creating an association between the bed and wakefulness. She constantly has all the lights on and is always scrolling on her laptop or phone right before bed. The exposure to light in the evening suppresses melatonin, which delays sleep onset and wake up time. To make it worse, she often has heated arguments with her long distance boyfriend late at night. Can you just tell me? Like, I don't know what's going on through your mind. That's why she spends many nights tossing and turning in bed, unable to fall asleep. Hey you! Who, me? Do you want to know how to sleep better? Well, yeah. Then you should take Professor Baroni's while you're sleeping class. Hmm. After taking the while you were sleeping class, Cecilia learned the importance of maintaining a stable sleep-wake schedule and having good sleep hygiene. She has since changed her bad habits and has no trouble staying awake throughout the day. She wakes up around the same time each day and exposes herself to bright light in the morning to advance her circadian rhythm so that she can fall asleep earlier at night. Installing Flux on her computer decreases the exposure to blue light so that her melatonin levels are normal. She started exercising regularly, but not too late at night. This can help increase the level of slow wave sleep. Melatonin? No thank you. A nice cup of chamomile tea before bed will do the trick. She started making her bed every day using pillows and blankets to make it look different. And doing her homework on her desk so that the bed is only associated with sleep. In addition, she's now using earplugs and a sleep mask to reduce external stimuli and to achieve the best possible sleep. So, what kind of sleep do you want to have?